we'll open up for questions and then when we're concluded we'll do a quick photo off of the two of them with the helmet standing up and then we'll do one with coach Lindsay by himself with the helmet standing up coach. okay uh, first of all I'd just like to congratulate coach Pearl uh, and his team on an outstanding win the atmosphere was was unbelievable um, last week um, obviously I started looking for an offensive coordinator and I really started out with three things. I just felt like I need to find somebody that could develop and evaluate quarterbacks. Um, felt like I needed somebody that uh, I would feel comfortable turning the offense over to. Um, I felt like I needed somebody that had a fit within the same philosophy, no huddle, run play action. So that's really where I started. Um, I had a really open mind, uh, talked to numerous people. Um, I wanted to the same thing when we hired Kevin Steele last year. And bottom line is I was looking for the best person for this job uh, that would give us the best chance of being successful. Uh, Chip Lindsey fit all three. Um, I've actively seen him develop quarterbacks. Uh, he's very good um, you know, at that. He's very good at evaluating quarterbacks. Uh, I feel very comfortable with Chip. I got a lot of trust in him that he can do it. Um, and then he fits within my philosophy. And the thing about Chip is he um, is, has his own offense uh, that he's been very successful with. He understands, he was with me a year, he understands the core philosophy. Very excited about him coming in and uh, kind of spicing up our offense. But I got a lot of confidence in him and uh, very excited that Chip Lindsey, our offense coordinator. I just want to say how honored I am to be here and be back at this great university. This is really a dream come true growing up in this state, being around you know, this this uh, this stage in college football and, you know, my wife and her family had season tickets for 30 years. This has been a, Auburn's been a special place to us and obviously being here in 2013 with Coach, getting that opportunity, but just extremely excited to get going. I'm ready to start right now. And uh, as soon as we get done here, we just got in town, we're going we're gonna to get started on 2017. But just want to thank Coach for the opportunity and uh, really looking forward to uh, to, to our time here and, and getting this thing going and having a lot of fun next year. Questions? Questions. Talk about your decision to come back and what made you decide to do it. You know what, anytime you spend time in a place, I think you build relationships with people at those places and it's always tough to leave, but you know, being being from here and, and, and the experience I had here before, I mean, it, it really was a dream come true for me, a, an easy decision. Uh, once once I, I made the break from, from a lot of people that are really special to me. And I want to say Todd Graham, I want to thank him giving me the opportunity to, to, to be there. That was unbelievable, great to my family. And, uh, you know, at the same time, though, this was something that I was really excited to get the opportunity to do and, uh, and glad to be here. Talk about your philosophy and, and how it is similar yet differs from you know, I, I came I came to Auburn in 2013 for for the reason to, to be with Coach Miles on and, and, and see how he did things because my background had been a little different and uh, the, the the time here it was it was amazing you know learning how he thought and how he game planned and did things and, and and took a lot of those things with us but at the same time you know even when I left and went to Southern Miss and now at Arizona State and now here you know everybody's got their own spin on on offense you know we all have our own personality that comes out. When you when you when you design an offense, but the bottom line is never changed. The most important thing is find ways to get the ball to your best players. It's really that simple, and that'll be our goal every day. And uh, looking forward to getting started. Mm -hmm. You've had a rough couple of years mm -hmm. from a rushing perspective. Just how do you try to meld what you've done before and what yeah. tries to get? Yeah, 2015, we had two 1,000 yard rushers at Southern Miss. Really proud of that. And then last year, you know, we, a lot of things happened. College football is it is what it is. It's it's a, it's a man's game, and you know you have to deal with adversity throughout the year. I thought our guys did a great job of that. Uh, really proud of that group of, of players, but. You know, at the end of the day, we we want to be a run play action team. That's what we've always done. And if you go back to our time at Southern Miss and even last year at Arizona State, that's been our goal. And uh, I think when you when you commit to that style of offense, trying to get the ball to your playmakers, I think good things are going to happen. You've been a quarterback guy. You've mm -hmm. a lot of good ones, developed a lot of good ones. Mm -hmm. Talk about your, your philosophy of coaching that position and what you want out of your guys. You know, I think the most important thing is to give those guys a plan. Give them a plan every play where they know where to go with the ball. you got to get the ball out of your hand. you got to understand protection. Uh, obviously, their, their footwork and all the, the, the things that go along with fundamentally playing the position is extremely important. Those are things that I, that I plan on, 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 on making sure those guys are really good at, you know, and making sure they know where to go with the ball. That's my job, and uh, I'm excited about the opportunity to be here with these guys.
Jeff, your, your evolution, I mean, you did a lot of air raid stuff. Yeah. You kind of came from that tree. How have you changed over the last few years, and how will you implement some of those mm -hmm. passing tree concepts well, at all? And, and you know, you're right, because in high school, you're, you're doing a good job recruiting your own school to get the best athletes out, and you have to get them to buy into those things, and, and that's what that's kind of how I came up was doing that. But I think when you get to, to big time, even high school football and college football, you you got to be able to run the football to win, and, and I know that. And you know we were really successful two years ago doing that, and it just opened up our entire offense. And uh, I know what Auburn's made of. Auburn's made of, of hard work, blue collar kind of football, and that's what we're going to continue to do, with with maybe some little wrinkles and twists in, in our passing game. It's a big recruiting weekend, obviously. Uh, I mean, how important was it to make the hire? Well, I think the timing uh, for us is good. The fact that it's our biggest recruiting weekend and the fact that Chip's going to get a chance to, to meet them face-to-face. -face. Um, a lot of them are already familiar with him, but at the same time, I think the timing is good. And um, so that, that worked out pretty well. Coach, you said you wanted to take your time with yep. this hire and yep. get it done, but then again, off of that question, having them here. Did you have any sort of self-imposed deadline to get him here before signing day? Well, I mean, I'll take you back. I mean, I had a very open mind. I was wanting to hire the best person for this position, and I was looking for somebody that fits these three things. So I really started out by just, you know, trying to find everybody in the country that fit those three things and then kind of figure out who I'd like to talk to. And talked to some very good people, uh, some very talented people. But at the end of the day, uh, Chip Lindsey is the guy that um, that fit these three that I felt very comfortable with that gives us the best chance of uh, being successful. Chip uh, is in a similar situation that I was uh, when I came here in 2009. Uh, you know, and I think I had three years experience before I came here. He's, he's actually got one more than me. And so at the end of the day, it was just uh, there wasn't an exact uh, time I was just wanted to make sure I had the best guy, and then when I came to that conclusion, we hired Chip Lindsey. Because Chip. you feel like because you feel like you had the support of the administration and other power brokers behind the scenes of the program. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all on the same page. Just to be clear, will you give you know, Chip the same play calling responsibility you gave Rhett last year after after week three? Is that the plan? Yeah, Chip, Chip's going to call the plays. This is going to be Chip's uh, offense, and it's going to be his responsibility. Um, I've got a lot of trust in him, like I said, and uh, he's going to do a great job. He talked about bringing somebody in with quarterback knowledge. Yeah. He talked about kind of adding to the passing game. Yeah. Did you see that was something that was really important? You know, I really did. Uh, you know, we've uh, been one of the best. And, of course, last year we led our league in rushing. And uh, we need to be more balanced. We need to, to throw the ball more effectively. Chip uh, will bring that. And I'm excited about our passing game. He will bring uh, some new ideas, some new wrinkles, new flares. He's got a great offensive mind. And uh, I think it will complement our run game. Gus, will the, the staff remain the same on the offensive side? The, the staff will remain the same on the offensive yeah. side. Will Chip handle the quarterbacks on a day-to-day basis? Yeah, Chip's the quarterback coach and offensive coordinator. And, uh, you know, I, I think I told him I'm uh, an old offensive clipboard. I'm retiring it. So that's probably the best way so to answer that. So you're not going to see the war eagle on the back of the Yeah, I'm not going to carry that anymore. I retired officially. So that kind of tells you where I'm at and how much confidence i got in this guy. <laughs> now, as, as, as far as you know, turning the offense over to him, will, you, will it terminology and all that stuff change with it? Or are you going to try and stick with what you've yeah. done in the past? Well, I, I'll say this is something me and Chip will talk about. But uh, Chip's responsible for the offense. And uh, that's something that we'll, we'll get in deeper and uh, see what he's most comfortable with. Chip, in discussing the quarterbacks you're encouraging, I mm -hmm. you as an analyst at 13, I don't know how much familiarity you have with Sean White, but he's recruited that year right. for the 14 year, and then I don't know how much familiarity you have with at all with Jared, but sure. those two is the lead two guys, just how much familiarity you have with those two. Probably a little more than you think. I mean, I was here when we recruited Sean, obviously, and then Jared, I was recruiting Jared pretty heavy in, in the fall myself, so uh, some familiar, familiarity with those guys, obviously, you know, not, not on a day-to-day -day basis, and I'm looking forward to getting to know really all four of those guys that are here now, and and this spring's going to be a lot of fun. Chip, can we talk about the confidence level that the guy to your left is going to let you run your own deal and, and how important that was for you to kind of make this move? Oh, extremely important. I mean, and, and that's that's something that that, uh, that he and I talked about at length. And, uh, I, you know, I'm very confident that, that, that this is going to be a great situation. And uh, he's given me every opportunity to be successful. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is my responsibility. He hired me to do a job, and I'm looking forward to doing it. Chip, what do you just think of the, of the, of the talent? quarterback, receivers, the offensive line here at Auburn, 
I'm yeah. sure you looked at before you decided to make the move. Yeah, probably not as close as you think because I was so busy doing, you know, recruiting with us at, at Arizona State. And obviously we played at such a different time there on the West Coast, so I didn't get to see a lot. But uh, I'm familiar with some of them just from being from the state and knowing where a lot of these guys came from. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about what we have coming back for sure. Yeah, I, I, I told him we're in great shape offensively with his talent. I'm kind of jealous, really. You, you spoke of, obviously, you got great connections to the state sure. and Georgia. Mm -hmm. How much do you think that will help you on the recruiting trail? Not necessarily this year, but going forward. Oh, I, yeah, I think it's definitely a plus. I mean, when you have familiarity with people and, and knowing knowing coaches around around both these states. These are two great states play great great high school football and that's where, you know, Auburn's made a living for since I've I mean since I can remember. So uh, I'm excited to, to rekindle some of those relationships for sure. What are your thoughts of working with Cody Burns? I know you two were on the staff together yeah. at Arizona State for a couple months before he came here. But yeah, he left me pretty quick, quick, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he uh, no, I'm excited. Cody and Cody was here in thirteen with, with me and uh, yeah, he's a bright young coach and uh, just just looking forward to working really with some older than others I guess but uh you know just those guys are, are men of character and they're guys you want to be around you want your kids to play for and I'm looking forward to being with them. Gus you mentioned quarterback recruiting was an important aspect of finding uh, offense coordinator. Yeah. Uh, in your dealings with Chip what, what makes you um, feel like he's going to be a good recruiter at, at the quarterback position? Well uh really uh, you know his resume about developing quarterbacks um, his reputation in the state of Alabama and Georgia uh, especially among high school coaches um just the fact that he's a great communicator, uh, he is a great person, and uh, a type of uh, coach that you would want your son to play for, and that have confidence developing him, you know, at the highest level. Take a few more. Gus, did you obviously went inside the circle of the NFL of trust. You know Chip very, very well. Um, what was your desire to maybe go outside that? And then when you look at other guys, it really, this is the first time since I've been a head coach that um, I actively had an offensive coordinator job open. And so I really just tried to take a step back. And my goal was to hire the best person for this job. And so I started out with those three parameters that I talked about and uh, just had a very open mind. I wanted to talk to as many people as I could uh, to get the right guy. And um, I talked to numerous guys, like I said, and it just came back to Chip. And uh, I got a lot of trust. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's ready for the job. Yes, what did you learn about yourself this year in handing over those play calling duties? Yeah. The issues you guys had all this year at the end, and then also tying that into how crucial this upcoming year is from yeah. the outside looking in. I think the biggest thing I learned, you know, I've been calling plays for 25, 26 years, and so it was uh, a little different. Like I've said before early, I got more used to it. Um, you know, as far as next year's concerned, um, I think we're in as good a spot offensively. Uh, of any other time I've been at Auburn. As far as with the guys coming back, with the talent, um, I think we're in a great spot. And then we add Chip Lindsey to run the offense. I mean, I'm very excited about next year, and uh, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Chip, can you Perfect. speak to the relationship that between you and Gus were just discussing? Like, obviously, you spent a year here, and, mm -hmm. but from a, the, again, from a fan perspective, from folks on the outside who were looking possibly for someone from the outside, mm -hmm. while you spent a year, you have had a long career from the high school ranks. And, elsewhere, not with Gus, to, to speak to your, not only your career and the relationship you have with him, but the independence that you have, but your, your own track record, how sure. separate those two things are. Yeah, you know, I, I was with him one year, so, I mean, and, and obviously we've had a relationship. He recruited some of my players at different places I've been, Philip being one of them, but at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, when I got here, to be honest with you, I, it took a lot of learning for me to learn, you know, the things that he did, but... Um, and, and I think we did a nice job, really, at, at the last two places I've been, of, of kind of meshing some things together. And that's what I plan on doing here. And uh, obviously, uh, Auburn's been good on offense before and done some things that are really good. We're not going to lose touch with those things. But I think uh, some few few new wrinkles and uh, and some a little different personality on it maybe maybe will uh, lead to a lot of success. All right. Thank you very much. All right, we'll do a quick photo off here. If you guys want to stay right here.